Notorious murder suspect Stephen Lorenzo always finds a way to delay his murder trial, and today he did it again. Lorenzo is accused of torturing and murdering two gay men way back in 2003. Well, now he's claiming that key evidence that could exonerate him is missing. Prosecutors call it more legal shenanigans, but as Fox 13's Gloria Gomez tells us, the judge is taking it seriously. Stephen Lorenzo's legal antics have been on full display. If I don't get to see this stuff that's on here, I'm going to claim a due process violation. Sorry, right. that's just the way it is. Acting as his own attorney, Lorenzo has been throwing wild accusations of dirty tricks and hiding evidence that he says could set him free. He's playing a game here. And now he claims evidence that could exonerate him has suddenly disappeared. The one thing that's huge is gone. Lorenzo claims there is surveillance video from a Ross department store that shows one of the murder victims shopping after he was reported missing, but now investigators can't find it. This is a death penalty case and he lost evidence, and that's important evidence, exculpatory evidence, and the mother even said it was her son. Lead prosecutor Jay Pruner denies it shows one of the murder victims. That would not be the mother's testimony today. She has was a grieving mother at the time holding out hope. Lorenzo's accused of the gruesome murders of Jason Galehouse and Michael Wachholz in 2003. Prosecutors say Lorenzo and co-defendant Scott Swikert targeted gay bars and lured the men into Lorenzo's Seminole Heights home where the men were drugged, tortured and killed. Swikert cut a deal with the state and pled guilty to murder charges in exchange for life in prison and testifying against Lorenzo. But now Lorenzo says none of that matters if key evidence is missing. The judge says this is a problem. This video does seem to be a little more important than, than I may have originally thought. And will be hashed out at the next hearing. Gloria Gomez, Fox 13 News. And that hearing to discuss that missing evidence is now set for August.